since the great warrior and leader of men, Aramis, vanished. Left behind were his mighty gauntlets, artifacts of untold power, giving their wielder the strength to move mountains as the stories were told. Also left behind was his daughter, Gully. She discovered her father's gauntlets, setting in motion the events that would make her a target of great importance and bring her into the company of her greatest defenders. Nolan, the wise and mighty wizard, whose tongue is as sharp as his wit. His mysterious companion, Calabretto, a war golem of immense power. Garrison, a swordsman, once brother in arms to Aramis, now sworn to protect his only living kin. And the rogue, Red Monica, who can be foe as quickly as friend. Together, they have traveled the capital lands while defending Gully from those who seek the power of her gauntlets for themselves. Nolan, on a personal quest to learn more about mana, which fuels the world's magic and technology, has led the group towards a mysterious landmass known as the Crescent Isle. There, vast reserves of mana were once rumored to exist. As they approach the island, they quickly discover why so little is known about the area. for a few hours. I guess I wasn't completely prepared for that cannon blast. Was I dreaming or did you leap off the ship to catch me? I did. How'd we make it down in one piece? Nolan, we fell through a portal he opened, placing us on the ground with a... Then what happened to him? We don't know. And Garrison? Monica? Garrison fell through the portal as well. Monica appears to be missing, along with Nolan. Then let's get moving. They could be hurt! Garrison already went ahead to search for them. 
Are you sure you're well enough to move? I'm so woozy, but we don't have any time to waste. I'll be fine. First, allow me to further heal your wounds. Then we will meet Garrison. during the airship battle, shielding the cannon blast. You would have done the same for me. Maybe, but with messier results. You're a brave kid, but remember, we don't fully understand the power of your father's gauntlets. You have to be more careful with them. I... had no choice. No, I guess not. I believe he was trying to thank you. Have you found any sign of Monica or Nolan? I haven't, and this village looks long abandoned. There are lights on the horizon, to the east. Might be a town. We should investigate. If they survived, they likely headed that direction. What do you mean, if? Nolan saved us. He can save himself. And Monica- You're probably right. Let's go find them.
Smith. Hey, who the hell are you? That's a rough way to greet strangers. Brr, being strangers, you don't know how rough we get around here. I suppose we're gonna learn quickly. Hey, skin's got to be thick to survive in a forsaken land like this one. And your hammer better be heavy. Speaking of forsaken lands, how did you lot end up here? We came in on an airship. As we approached, pirates ambushed us. Sounds right enough. Though not quite pirates, as you see. Bandits. Simple as that. Just thugs full of hot air. But they've been a right pain in the ass recently. Bandits. Who do they work for? Well, being bandits. Themselves, mostly. Well said. They're acting differently the last few moons. Less scatterbrained. More... As a few of us left a bit worried. We were separated from some friends during the battle. We think they may have them, or know where they are. Huh, Chad. A few weaklings came by, causing trouble last dawn. Chased them off down the south road. You can head that way, if you think you'll find your friends. If we don't, they'll regret it. Keep your head up. They must have a camp down there somewhere. You're back. And nearly in one piece. Right. 